today we're going to be talking about um, how to manipulate a board outline or a board profile um, and add things like fillets or chamfers to maybe an orthogonal shape. Um, now a lot of this depends on how the board profile has been created in the first place. Um, you've got two options really, you can add a line or you can add a shape. So if we add a line, um, basically using the board geometry outline, we can then click and draw and I'm just going to start off with just a basic idea of a board profile just to get some ideas of some maybe some orthogonal corners that we want to add some fillets to. Now once that's done what you'll notice is when you hover over these these are still individual line segments which means that you can use uh, the manufacture drafting either chamfer or fillet command so let's use the fillet command um, we've got quite a large radius there so let's all just select the two profiles oh my fillet corner is too big so let's just reduce the fillet radius down to something a bit more sensible okay and we can start to add the fillets that we need onto the corners once we've done what we need to do this is still effectively classed as a shape item so we could use the edit z copy to create our, our root key pins or our package key pins as we would normally so just give a quick example of that and that works very very nicely now the second option is when sometimes maybe you've generated a shape or you've imported a DXF file which will create a shape profile. So what we'll do is we'll add the same function but this time we'll add a shape um, based on an orthogonal and we'll just go and specify the segments that we need to create some internal corners. Now what you'll notice with the shape is obviously the same as some of the other board profiles that you brought in for a DXF. If you hover over a, over these items, they are effectively one item, so you can't use that individual fillet function. So what you have to do is you have to use a shape, decompose the shape, and then specify to delete the shape afterwards. Just put it onto a construction layer, for example. We'll decompose the shape. This then turns these individual in, into individual items, so we can then use the manufacture drafting fillet function like we did before to then go through and add the fillets that we need onto the internal corners once that's done we can then use the, the shape compose shape specify to put it back onto the board geometry outline layer draw a window around all the items again this then converts it back to a board profile and then we can use the z copy as we would normally to generate the root keeping